Hello and welcome to part 6 of this H3VR modding tutorial. In this part we're going to be setting up our particle effects and we're also going to be setting up the recoil and uh, audio from an existing gun in H3VR. So the first thing that we'll set up is the particle effects. Uh, this part is fairly simple. We just want to navigate to our samples folder that we imported in the first episode and we want to go to assets and particles. And this is where there's a set of sample uh, particle effects that we can use. And we just want to navigate into the gun and there is an area see if I can find it. Uh, muzzle smoke uh, params. And what you want to do is just open up the gas out effects and um, pick a particle system that makes sense for these two gas out effects. So this one is the muzzle. So if we look at the names of these, uh, this one is barrel. So that's probably the one we want. I'll get back to that. And we just put that in the effect prefab one. And then this one is the gas out of the breach. So where the uh, gun opens up there. And this one is just gas out breach high, or high gas. So that's what we want for that. And that's our particle effects done. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is get the audio from an existing gun. And to do that, we will just open up the prefab loader and get one of our SMGs. And I think for this one, we want the audio from um, the Keter because that has a folding stock. Navigate. PP91. Spawn that in. So we have the Keter in the scene. And then from here, we want to go up into the tools and open up the gun ripper. We'll just dock that up there. And you can just drag the game object into that. And this is the file path that this uh, uh, ripped stuff is going to end up in. It. So it's meat kit, tools, gun ripper, and then there should be an export folder. So that's where all of that will end up. And we will just click Rip Firearm Arm Audio. And you'll see that we have a new folder here. It contains all of the audio and also the uh, audio set that we're going to use on our gun. And while we're at it, we can also go ahead and rip the recoil profile from the cutter as well. So we'll use that. And now that we have those, uh, we simply go into the gun again and we want to find the firearm audio set uh, spot. For that. So you put that in there, and then for recoil, we put that into um, some guns. You'll use also the stock profile, and you'll have this enabled. Um, you just want to use a prefab load a existing gun to see how they have that set up. So we can open up the Keter here and go to the rec recoil, and you'll see that they don't do that. So it's on a gun-to-gun -gun basis, depending on what you want. So we have the recoil and the audio set. Um, we also can go into the magazine and set the audio for that. That's going to handle the stuff like inserting bullets into the magazine and stuff. So we'll keep that in there. And I think that's it. We can go ahead and apply for both of these and get rid of the PP91, the Keter. And that is applied recoil, audio, and muzzle effects for our gun. Um, in the next part, we're gonna set up our icon camera so that we can start taking pictures of this and making item spawner icons for it.